Hey everybody, welcome to RamTV, welcome back to MLB The Show 19, the Air franchise. This is episode 47, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for the playlist on my channel. And here we are for the September 16th game, we're restarting the series against, uh, what is this team? This is the Colorado Rockies, it's totally blanked out. Um, they're at 60 and 90, so this series hopefully shouldn't be too bad. We're on a 7 game winning streak, sweeping the Arizona uh, Diamondbacks and sweeping the Dodgers. Right now we're in a little hot streak, so hopefully this uh, quick manage is going to be pretty successful. Sorry, it's my alarm. And my phone just went crazy. Good afternoon, Brent. Sorry, guys. So we've been playing this game against the Reds. They're 88 and 65. We're 93 and 59. We're trying to let me see the oh there you go we finally clinched there you go we clinched playoffs all right so i'm gonna be playing this one game they clinched the wild card or just postseason appearance all right i'm gonna wait until i actually clinch the division uh again there's no magic number here um she's got a few games left so i will be playing this game here and then I guess next up I'll be seeing this and playing this. Hopefully by then um, we will be clinched the and at least but we're guaranteed a spot in playoffs. Either whether it's wild card or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, where am I playing? In uh, Cincinnati? Yeah, Cincinnati. <laughs> I forgot. Three and one to Jeff McNeil. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off the seventh. You start saying ah, hey, maybe something special blooper. is gonna happen this summer. Oh, and he can't make the couch. He's gonna hit the wall. He's gonna round second into third. He's gonna be safe. That is a leadoff triple by Jeff McNeil. That's number four of the year. I really didn't think that was gonna land. I thought that was gonna be just a pop up to left center field, but. Over his head and onto the wall, and McNeil's on with a third, with a triple. Brandon Nimmo slider just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That hangs on the That's gonna be a hit center field, and it's caught. McNeil's gonna walk on home, and it's gonna be one nothing here in the first inning. That's a sacrifice by Nimmo. One and two to Peraza to start the game. Heading out towards shallow. Fly out to Nimmo. And he makes the catch. So that's out number one here in the first inning. Let's take a look at the lineups. For Cincinnati. There you go. Jose Peraza, followed by Jose Iglesias, Joey Vada, Matt Kemp, Scooter Jeanette, Scott Shebler, Philip Irvin, Tucker Barnhart, and then the pitcher spot, Anthony Descafani. Oh, that got Votto with a slider. And inning over. That's a shot by Jonas Cespedes. And it's going to be a home run. He just barely clears the wall. That is a solo home run for Yo. And that is a 2 nothing lead. And that is Jonas' 33rd, 32nd home run of the year. They got out of here in a hurry. Boy, oh boy. Another bomb for the Mets. That's going to be a double for McNeil. And he's going to be safe with a stand up double. So now it's Keichel at third. That's right, Keichel on third. And McNeil on second. So he's already two hits shy from the cycle. And he's a home run and a single. That's going to go in. It's going to be a base hit. McNeil's on the way to be with home. And he is safe. No throw at home. And it's 4 0 Mets here in the third inning. That is Nimmo's third RBI of the game. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swing, line, drive. That's a base hit by Alonzo. It's going to be a double. And this one I'm going to wave Nimmo home. 
And he's going to be safe. No throw again. That's an RBI double for Pete Alonso. And they're already taking out this Clefani. This is a long third inning for the Reds. Three runs in already. And another run goes in. That's a base hit by Ramos. Cespedes is going to third. And he's going to be safe. That's an RBI single by Wilson Ramos. And the assault continues against the Reds. Another base hit. That's an RBI single for, uh, for Rosario. And Ramos has held that second. And oh my goodness. I think the Reds fans should just go home early because this is... Ugly. He just goes ahead and slaps it right there. Didn't try and do too much. Took what the pitcher gave him, and it worked out. Another base hit. It is now bases loaded for Dallas Keuchel, who started this inning. This is unbelievable. All these are base hits, no walks. That is a home run. For Jed Lowry, that is a no-doubter. There you go, it lands in the crowd, and it's 8-0 Mets. Jed Lowry with his 15th home of the year. And again, the pummeling of Cincinnati continues. And that is a strikeout, and Lugo closes up the game. The Mets win 10-1. Wait, why is Lugo there when he... Pitch the last inning. Anyway, Mets win 10 1. Just an offensive onslaught by everybody. Jeff McNeil played the game with a triple double and two singles. Wow. And an RBI. So, what a game offensively. Dallas Cackle gets the win. Uh, six innings, five hits, four strikeouts, one earned run, and three walks. Can't complain about that if the offense produces. No, no, no. All right, so we start off by winning that series against Cincinnati. And let's see here. Let's check out the standings if I want to advance a day. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we still clinch a playoff appearance, that's fine. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my, excuse me, MLB The Show 19, New York Mets franchise. Again, don't forget, don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below. And if you like what you see, the, uh, click the thumbs up and subscribe and click the notification bell to whenever I come out with new videos. So see you guys later. Take it easy.